to my channel it's Dia and for today's video I'm going to be having my haul this is going to be my first haul ngayong year of 2018 three days ago nagpost ako ng video um, unboxing my I love you since 1892 and ngayon I'll be hauling yung mga books na nabili ko since October kasi hindi ko pa sila na open so I just want to show it to you guys bako sila open so yeah, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Without further ado, let's just hop in with the video. Let's go. So the first book na ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon is yung book na binili ng mom ko for me. Kasi last October, um, nag-travel siya and she asked me kung ano gusto kong pasalubong. And I told her na gusto ko yung To All The Boys I've Loved Before na trilogy. But the problem is that time, wala silang paperback. So... Ang naiwan lang is hardbound. Then ako kasi, hindi talaga ako bumibili ng mga hardbounds when it comes to international books. Kasi nga, a little bit of expensive and mabigat din siya for traveling. So I told my mom to buy the paperbacking available that time. And the only available available is yung first and second book. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Ito yung first book to all the boys I've loved before. It's by Jenny Han. Another one is P.S. I Still Love You. Ito siya guys. So ito yung first two books ni Jenny Han. Um, yun pala yung nakuha ko kasi yun nga, wala pa silang third book that time kasi and bagong release lang yung third book. So, yun. So, next na ipapakita ko naman sa inyo is yung mga package na pinadala ko galing sa friend ko from Manila. It's The Heartless by Joe Knox. Kasi that time, um, kaka-release na nito and hindi pa siya available here sa place ko. So, yun na pabili ako sa Manila para makuha ko siya agad. So, here it is. I have two copies of it. It's by Jonak. So, if you haven't read this one, try to read this, guys. It's so worth it. And the next one naman is yung Hell University Part 1 and Part 2 by Night in Black. Um, if you want mysteries, you could try to read this one. Um, 150 ang isa nito ata, I think so. Hindi ko lang maalala. Pero ito siya guys, the part 1 and part 2. So if you are, uh, if you want to read this one, go check his, what for the account? I forgot the name, Night in Black, I think. So yun yun guys. So this package na ipapakita ko sunod sa inyo is yung mga nabili ko nung um, November, I think. Kasi I went to Davao November for my entr entrance exam in a school there. So, sinabay ko na rin yung pag-hauling sa NBS kasi that time sale din sila. So, ito ipapakita ko sa inyo. Um, if, ano, meron ako dito ang three inter... Oh, no! I have five international books dito and two Filipino or under what pad siya. So, ito siya, guys. First is the Red Queen and Glass Sword by Aviard. Aviar. Aviar. So, ito siya. Ang gusto ko dito kasi is nakapack siya and ang ganda nung packet, yung book box niya. Ang ganda. And also, this is duology. Um, hindi ko pa talaga siya actually balak bilhin kasi meron ako nakita, I think third book siya or parang sequel siya nito. Pero kasi ang, um, ang ganda niya talaga, ang ganda ng cover sobra. And sabi ko, bibilhin ko na lang siya and babalikan ko na lang yung third or sequel na book. So ito siya guys. If nabasa nyo na siya guys, um, comment down below kung ano yung tingin nyo sa story nito. Hindi ko pa kasi siya nababasa. And I'm really excited to read this one. So yeah. Next one is one of my favorite author then. It's Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong guys. I'm really sorry. Ito yung cover niya na I'm really amazed kasi ang ganda ng cover niya. Aminin niya guys na may mga times na when you're uh, buying books, tinitingnan niya talaga yung cover. I know na hindi tama yun, hindi maganda siya when it comes to reading kasi do not judge the book by its cover naman, ba Pero ako kasi, naingan niya ako magbasa when it, uh, when it comes sa pagkakita ko sa cover na sobrang ganda niya. So I think um, ito yung mga international author na ang ganda rin yung mga pagkakagawa ng covers nila. So, ito yung first na kinakuha ko sa kanya. It ends with us. This one. Maraming nagsasabi na super ganda na ng story nito. And, 
I'm really excited to, to read this one kasi hindi ko pa siya nababasa. As you can see guys, naka-sealed pa siya. And gusto ko muna tapusin yung mga ibang international books na binabasa ko. As of the moment, gawa ko siya basahin. So if you guys nabasa niyo na to siya, comment down kung ano yung tingin kung gano'n siya kaganda or ano yung mga nangyayari. Huwag nyo lang spoil lahat, okay? The next one naman is from the same author, Without Merit. Ito, I'm really amazed sa cover kasi ako, I'm really fan of white and black when it comes to covers, lalo na sa mga books. Kasi super ganda niya tingnan. And parang super, wow, ang ganda. Uh, like, nakaka-catch na attention ko. Hindi kasi ako yung sobrang colorful na mga covers. Ayoko nang ganun. Pero ito, marasya simple lang, pero ang ganda. So if you guys, nabasa niyo na to siya, comment din below kung ano yung kung gano'n siya kaganda and kung ano masasabi nyo sa story. So, yeah. And next one, ipapakita ko is yung two Wattpad books na nabili ko that time. As yung kaka-release lang no The Bad Boys Love by Kina Lata. If you want to read this one, um, check out the first three books kasi it, ano siya, under three books siya pag published na siya. First is To All The Boys I've Loved Before na part one and part two. The next one, next book naman is yung Um, the Good Girl's Revenge. And ito siya, guys. Wait lang. Ito. Ito yung first two books. Hindi ko nakita ko sana yung isa. Sa ko nilagay yung isa. So, ito siya yung first book. Part 1 and part 2 ng The Four Bad Boys and Me. And yung isa, hindi ko alam kung saan ko siya nalagay. Ayun. Ito. The Good Girl's Revenge. Ito yung second book niya. And if if you really want to read this, ito na yung third book. Guys, ang ganda na, sorry. Kasi ito yung sa mga first stories na nabasa ko sa Wattpad. And I'm really really, really happy na binasa ko siya bago siya na-publish kasi sobrang ganda niya. Akala mo kasi at first, parang cliche na story, parang is like high school lovers, from, from hate to love, like ganun. Pero hindi kasi nag-continue yung story niya after they graduate, kung ano yung mangyayari sa kanila, sa mga friends nila, kung ano yung connections nila sa isa't isa, kung may mag-change ba ng mga love themes or not. And yung sa pain na mga nafe-feel nila kung ano ba yung nangyayari doon. So, I really recommend you to read this one. Go check out Blue Maiden's account. Ang maganda na stories ni Ate Blue Maiden. Blue Maiden. So, I hope you guys read it. So, yeah, go check it out. Last December, bumalik ako na yung Davao kasi I also have another exams, another school. And sinabay ko na rin doon yung meet up with the Wattpad authors. It, it was my first, actually, first ever meet up ko siya. And I'm really happy na na-meet ko yung mga favorite authors ko. Yung mga bago ko nakilala ng mga authors. Ang gaganda pala ng mga stories. And also, yung parang, fe, um, not, not like festival, but anniversary ng NCCC that time. And nandun sila Moira, sila Tanner, Yumi Kapile, Kapile, <laughs> Yumi Kapile, and other artists ng ABS-CBN. So, I also have vlog that time, so go check out my other videos kasi nag-vlog ako that day. So, ito yung mga nakuha ko nung meet-up. I have five books here. And guys, I'm really... That time, actually, dapat late na kami nun. Pero, the good thing kasi, nung medyo late na kami, and wala na ko siya nakupuan, kinausap ko yung isang admin na wala na nga kami mupuan. Tapos, binigay niya kami ng two chairs, me and my friend, Maha. So, pinupo niya kami sa harapan. And the good thing kasi, straight talaga, nakikita ko lahat ng authors. I'm going to insert a picture here. Ito, nakikita yung picture na to. Here. See, as you can see, nasa harap talaga ako, nasa gitna. And sa mga videos ng author that time, mga lives nila, sa Instagram, um, Instagram, uh, the little my day nila, nakikita niyo yung mga kasi nasa harapan ako. And ito yung mga books na nakuha ko and napapirma ko sa kanila. First is the Hilius Murders and the author that time is Sunako Nakahara. Dito is five authors sila. It's like a one shot but isa lang yung bida. Different story siya na one shot. So napirmahan nila ito ni ate Sunako Nakahara. I keep my name niya. So ayun guys, napirmahan niya na where is it? Okay, where is it? Ayun. My sign niya dito and I'm really happy and I'm hoping and, and my goal is papir ma rin yung ibang books sa ibang author na gumawa rin ito. So the next one ipapakita ko sa inyo is ito yung first Wattpad story. I think hindi siya galing sa Wattpad nagsimula nung ginawa but ito yung first story na naging boom sa Philippines ng mga teen, lalo na teenagers like me na sobrang in love sa stories na to. And ito yung she's dating the gangster. Yung reason ba't ko nabili itong cover na to is naiwan ko sa bahay yung cover ko na parang English edition niya. Naiwan ko. So, hindi ko napapirma. So, I have to buy a new one para meron akong ipapapirma. 
kay Ate Bianca. So, this is by SG Wannabe Bianca Bieber Nardino. She's dating the gangster. And napirmahan niya rin sa loob. Ito. And I'm really happy kasi I have another copy of She's Dating the Gangster naman. So, the next one is One Nice Mistake na nabili ko rin that time. It's by Blue Kisses. Ang bait ni ate, ni ate sobra. Ang cute nila kasi they're very jolly and sobrang friendly nila sa amin eh. The next one is ito. She's from Davao also kasi. And parang she was the the one na nagtutour sa mga other authors. Sinasamahan, siya sa, sinasamahan niya sila for other good places sa Davao. So, siya si Ate Eva Jovi. Her title is The Other CEO. Ito siya, guys. Ang ganda rin ito, eh, sabi na friend ko, kasi while we're in Davao, she's reading na the story, and ako, hindi ka pa binabasa, kasi gusto ko siya basahin ng isang araw lang, kasi ayoko nung putol-putol. Ako yung anong reader, eh, pag binasa ko siya, tuloy-tuloy na siya, and I don't want to stop unless na, tap, na nasa last page na ako. So, if you haven't read this one, go check this one, guys, kasi ang ganda rin na story. And this is English, actually. This is English, yeah. Not actually, this is English talaga. So, yun, nasa hindi ni Ate Ivo Jovi. And the last one, guys, like, oh my gosh, many of you, hindi niyo siguro siya kilala, pero kasi, he he's one of the authors na sobrang hindi kil ay hindi, not hindi kilala pero hindi alam kung ano yung face niya hindi alam kung gano siya katangkad kung ano talaga yung facial features niya kasi hindi niya pinapakita and sa meetup na to I finally met him last September niya lang ata ni pinakita yung face niya and I think kasi may reason rin siya bakit niya ginawa yun kasi it's not about the face naman ng author eh it's about the story, di ba? Kung ano yung story nila. Doon ka may in love, hindi naman sa author kung mabahe ba siya or lalaki siya but sa story kung gaano kaganda yung pagkakagawa niya ng story. And I think most of you kilala na to siya. It's Marco Jose. He's my husband. The moment na pumasok siya sa hotel room, like, oh my gosh, he's so freaking hot. Like, guys, I'm fangirling overload. Sobrang guapo. Sobrang tangkat. And I was like, at the age like that, ang hot, ang hot niya na sobra. And ang galing niya gumawa ng stories kasi, ayun nga, minsan may mga parts sa stories na, alam mo, sobrang sakit and sobrang ganda rin. So, yung first ever book na pinoblish niya sa pop fiction is His Possessive Ways. So, alam ko most of you, most of his readers na basa na to and guys, ang ganda talaga ng stories niya. I asked him actually na pirmahan yung dito ko kasi naka-off shoulder niya ako that time. Tapos, sabi ko, pirmahan niya ako dito. Pero hindi siya nakapirma kasi nahihiya siya. So, I asked him to sign me sa hands ko na lang. And sa book also. And guys, when I hugged him, hayoko na siya bitawan. Like, can I stay with you forever? Like, oh, baby. Oh, char! Pero ito siya, napirmahan niya yung book. So, ito. He signed it also. So, guys, if hindi niyo pa nababasa itong His Possessive Ways, basahin niyo rin. And also, the other Montemayor series. Go check his, um, what, with account. At, ako si Marco Jose. Ayun. Ayun. Go check it out, guys. Thank you. Oh, may nakalimutan ako. Ipakita sa inyo. Isisingit ko lang. Nakalimutan ko ipakita sa inyo. Nabili ko rin pala is yung Just the Benefits by Biotch. Meron itong self-published noong sa uh, point of view ni Parker and Shiloa. So, if you guys want to check her story, go check her what for the account. Kasi, ang ganda rin na story nito. Pero, um, hindi siya uh, required. I mean, I mean, hindi siya pwede pabasahin sa mga younger age, I think. Kasi may mga parts done na medyo, you know, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, that's it. And we're done with the book haul. I hope you guys liked it. And ang dami ko pa pala hindi nababasa na stories. And I hope na mabasa ko siya, so just pray for me. So if you guys want me to do another book haul next month, Depende na lang yan kung makakabili ako ng new books this month kasi, you know, graduating feels and daming gastos. Pero I'm hoping na makakabili ako when I went to, again, to Davao. So, I think that's all of it. Hope you guys like this video. Go give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And click the bell button beside it for you to be notified for my next videos. And please, comment down kung ano yung, kung ano yung mga books na gusto nyo and kung ano yung mga favorite part niyo sa mga books na yun. And yeah, I think that's all. I hope you guys like it. And thank you for watching this video. Comment down ulit kung ano yung mga gusto nyo pang gawin ko sa mga next videos ko. Like book haul, another book haul, unboxing new books, or reviewing another book. 
So yeah, I think that's all of it. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless. Bye.